Hey, Dave Fanning here with the Body Firm Personal Training Fitness Boot Camps. I want to talk to you today about the three most common beginner weight loss mistakes. So, in the first four to six weeks, when you're looking to lose weight, get in shape, start working out, eating better, think of it like a rocket or the shuttle taking off on a launch pad. Most launches blow up on the pad or when they're just taking off. They never make it to orbit. So, what you have to do is focus in on getting off the pad, making it up through that first four to six weeks and getting to your destination. So how do you do that? If you think that I'm going to tell you it's you know all about you know working out seven days a week or eating salads, you're in the wrong place because 90% of this is mindset and what's going on in your head and overcoming your internal resistance is way more important than what's going on outside because when the brain and your 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 what you're looking at mentally works, everything else falls into place. So let's talk about the three biggest problems or mistakes that you can make when you're beginning that first four to six weeks is number one, expecting instant results. I cannot tell you the number of times I've seen somebody that over a five to 10 year period, they gain 30, 40, 50, 100 pounds. And then in that first week, they're like standing on the sky, like, God, just I ate right and I worked out and you know, I, I didn't lose 10 pounds. And, they're all put out and they think they should just stop and go back to the same thing that is going to kill them. So you have to forget about the scale initially, but that doesn't mean you don't need some small wins. So in the first four to six weeks, you want to focus in on your behaviors. Are my behaviors congruent with my goals? Number one, am I showing up to work out consistently? Number two, am I eating consistently according to my eating plan. Number three, am I drinking enough water every day? Number four, am I sleeping enough every night? Each day you're focusing in on hitting your behaviors, doing that, and you get those small wins daily, long enough, consistently enough, you will get the results in the mirror, on the scale, and in your clothes. That's what you have to focus in on. today. This week, did I hit my four workouts? Yes, I did, that's a win. So keep focusing in on those small behavioral wins and you will get the physical results that you're looking for over time. And it will happen, it's inevitable. Number two, giving up. When people sit down with me in the beginning, they, you know, if we have a little bit of time, they'll say, what's the difference between those people that have been successful and then those that don't? And the difference, the number one thing is that those people that are successful have always continued to show up and they keep showing up and they show up long enough till their new habits become their habits and they get the results that they're looking for. And those that fail give up. They go, yeah, it's just not for me or it does, it's not working for me, which means it's not, they're either not consistent enough or they're cheating on their diet or they're not showing up or something's not quite working, but they're giving up. And when you give up, nothing good will come out of that. And not just that, but it reinforces the quitting habit, which you don't want to reinforce over time. That's why people start dropping out and dropping out and drop out of every program. And then they're in, in deep trouble because it's even harder to overcome that. Every time you quit, it makes quitting a little bit easier, sticking with it even harder. So you always want to be reinforcing the showing up habit. And that's the key. Number three, inaccurate thinking. I was sitting down with two girls yesterday Classy example, one hasn't really been doing anything, but a girlfriend, they're gonna be training partners. She said, you know, I've, I've been eating perfectly and I haven't been drinking any alcohol for like the last three weeks. And her partner looked at her and she said, we had two margaritas on Saturday. And then the girl goes, well, yeah, and then I ate tacos. So quite often it's inaccurate thinking. We think we're on track when we don't think about all these little things that are slipping in. And, and that's normal because we know through research and through our own findings that as humans, we underestimate when we're just thinking about it, when we're just reporting verbally, we underestimate the amount of calories we take in per day, and we overestimate the amount of exercise we get in a weekly period. And that's consistent, like every research project that's been done, self-reporting is bad. And that's just, that's the way we are, and that's okay. But if you wanna fix that inaccurate thinking, you have to do some type of, you can either, when it comes to meals, eating the same thing every day. That way you know when you're off. Or food journaling, 
or myfitnesspal.com, which you can download to your phone and then just track your eating. Training journals, writing it down. And the fourth thing is like a training calendar that you put on the refrigerator. Did I work out today? What did I do? Did I work out yesterday? Because that gives you an accurate assessment of where you're at when it comes to your behaviors. And if you get, like I said earlier, when you get the behaviors right, all kinds of good things happen for you. So three most common mistakes, expecting instant results, not gonna happen. Focus in on the small wins, especially that first four to six weeks. Are my behaviors congruent with what my goals are? Am I eating right? Am I showing up to exercise? You keep doing those two things long enough and consistently enough, you'll get the results. Number two, giving up, never happens. Keep showing up and show up and never give up. Number three, inaccurate thinking. You gotta have an accurate, realistic idea of where your nutrition is and how consistent you are. Don't just ballpark it and not say I've not been drinking, but you have been drinking. So you have to know and either journal it or keep it so simple that you know how your lifestyle is and you know when it's off. So those are the three things. I hope that helps you because I want you to get up and start seeing results in the mirror and in your clothes and on the scale. And if you have any questions, shoot them in the comments below. If you like this video, like it, share it, Comment below. I'm Dave Fanning with the Body From Personal Training Fitness Boot Camps. Talk to you guys later.